we have sold our open range RV, but we have to be out in two days. <laughs> our hope is to be in another RV. It's being built, but it's being delayed. And then we've also got the problem of well, where are we even, where are we gonna go? Where are we gonna sleep? Where are we gonna live? Is a big problem. And then also like, uh, what are we gonna do with our stuff? We're Marissa, Nathan, Hensley, and JJ. We sold our house in 2015 and moved into an RV full time to live a life of less junk, more journey. Life is a journey. Let go and get going. It's not the destination. It's all in the journey. You gotta be patient. Don't be in a hurry. The hardest part about downsizing for me is and you might be thinking you guys love this so much why are you selling it what do you think about the option with a tent <laughs> you no know, it's sad isn't it <laughs> i miss my camper i know i know so many firsts and so many lasts so yeah we're that couple um we're the couple that bought a two-wheel drive Jeep, thinking we could tow it behind our motorhome, only to find out after we bought it, and after we'd already paid to have it set up to tow with four wheels down, you actually can't tow a two-wheel drive automatic Jeep four wheels down, so that was a disaster. But now you know. Yeah, yeah, now <laughs> In case you know. anybody else was wondering. <laughs> We're also the couple that just a few months ago went check in hand to New York to buy an RV, but we came back empty handed, unfortunately. <laughs> It's hard. I mean, yeah. I thought 2019, we were, like new condition. We said it's this gonna have deal. to be really in bad shape for us to walk away. And yeah. The good news is, we've changed RVs so many times and made so many mistakes. We do know how to pack, but it's still emotional. <laughs> it doesn't matter how many times you downsize, how many pack, times you pack, how many times you move. It could be tough. So the goal is today to get everything packed up, to get everything boxed up. And then we're still trying to figure out like uh, where we're going to put this stuff once we got it boxed up. I reached out and looked at a couple of different options. Option number one, just do a storage unit. Option number two, scatter it through homes of family because we are in our hometown. Uh, option number three, which Marissa was not a huge fan of, I said, look, I'll just go buy a big tent and we'll just throw everything in the tent. <laughs> what do you think about the option with a tent? <laughs> I would have... And we can live in the tent yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. He it's two birds with one stone. <laughs> live in the tent in the winter in Tennessee while we store our stuff in it. Um, that's thinking outside the box, but <laughs> I think we go with maybe plan A or B or even C before plan D. <laughs> We're hoping our RV is going to be ready anytime now. So in our minds, we're thinking, oh, maybe this is a week or... It could turn into more than a week or maybe a few weeks. We don't know. So we're hoping this is a short term, but who knows how long this is going to be. You wouldn't think you would have as much stuff as you do, <laughs> but you don't realize it until you start downsizing. When we downsized in our house, that was almost six years ago. We had lived in the house three years and I was shocked how much stuff we had in the house. So I thought, oh, in an RV, you know, it's not going to be as much stuff. I think I've realized it's good to change rigs or to move every now and then just to downsize because we've had we've had more than I expected and so we're having to move and downsize kind of at the same time. The hardest part about downsizing for me is making a lot of decisions. I think you have to be able to make some really quick decisions and I'm kind of emotional when it comes to even clothing, like I have a sentimental attachment to clothing, you know, especially when it comes to our kids stuff. I'm like, oh, these little pajamas, even though they're tied on her feet, I remember her like running around in them. So it's like really hard to, to make all those emotional decisions. Nathan is very good at that, <laughs> <laughs> but not me. I, I struggle with that part. And so we have figured out a storage solution, which I would call option D or four. I don't know, whichever one it is. <laughs> we had a friend who had this storage trailer and didn't need it. He was done with it for the season. By the way, Brendan Johnson Landscaping, if you're in the uh, Cookville or Putnam County area, 
do an awesome job for you. It is actually a huge enclosed trailer. We were super grateful for that because we just kind of park it back here as far as the land, carry our stuff to the trailer. And then hopefully, once this stuff works out, we can carry this stuff back out of the trailer into our next home. Is that it? Is that pretty much it? This is the last of it. I feel like I'm packing up memories. It's hard. She even wrote. <laughs> she wrote. <laughs> wrote her name on there. <laughs> it's hard. It is hard. I mean, this this has been our vessel, our vessel around the country, and we've watched our children grow up in a sense in this RV. So it's almost crazy how attached you can you can get to that. The packing is done on the RV. The cleaning is done on the RV. Uh, we have put all the boxes into this uh, into the trailer. <laughs> Yeah, it started off pretty well. It was super organized and then it just sort of drifted into chaos like toward the end. But uh <laughs> So yeah, we've taken the last box and not only that, we've also finished cleaning the RV. So this is probably the toughest part. <sighs> Saying goodbye. Come on, bud. Kinsley, you ready to say goodbye? Goodbye. Oh. You okay? You look sad already. You can be able to do this? You can be able to do it? It's okay. We'll have a new home. We'll have a new home. I know. It's sad, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. You're a, you are a lot like your mama. We love change. We're excited about the new RV, aren't we? But we're really sad about letting the old go. It's hard, isn't it? I know. I feel the same way. <laughs> It's been a good RV for us. Made a lot of tacos in here, babe. You were not wrong <laughs> about the taco bar. From day one, you spotted it. It's the best taco bar out there. I'm paying you in tacos. <laughs> Thank you. This room has been everything we dreamed it would be. The half bath was awesome. That's something we are not going to have on the next one. So, Hinza, what's your favorite part of your room? Whoa. I like the bed. Yeah. And the table. It's late. You're, oh, come here. I miss my camper. I know. I know. You are excited about the new camper, right? You yeah. wanted to go. She wants to go to the new one. I mean, she's just like her mom. We're not like, what are you doing up there, bud? I love change. Change is exciting. I think that's how it is for Hensley and I both. We're both so excited about the change. But it's hard to let go of the old. And we have so many memories attached to this. How long? You were like, what, six months old when we come in here? <laughs> this was really a trial for us. We went from a 30-foot Airstream to this RV thinking, was this piece too big? That was one of the questions. One of the questions was, what about the residential fridge? Will that drive us crazy because it's going to consume so much energy? Uh, but, but we love the residential fridge. We've learned that. We weren't sure about the island. We've loved that. One of the things I wasn't sure about was whether we'd like having the washer and dryer in the pantry in the kitchen living room. I actually love this. This pantry space has been amazing, but it doesn't take my closet space away. So it's been really nice having it here. And it doesn't like keep us up in the bedroom or in the kids' bedroom. I like that it's in a neutral space in the middle. I don't think we regret, we, we're just not recliner people. We actually swapped these out for our couch that you guys have seen. Uh, we put the recliners back in. That's what the people bought in it, buying it. They wanted recliners. Not a right or wrong. Just uh, Our kids just kept stealing them from us. Yeah, we so. had two seats, and by the time me and Marissa got done making dinner... So we kids, wanted a family <laughs> couch that they couldn't steal from us. A lot of great memories in here, right, babe? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> I think I'm as red as my shirt now. Because <laughs> JJ pretty much stayed at the foot of our bed right here the whole time. We're going to miss this, actually, but we, we'd wake up to... I hear him kind of rustling around thinking he's going to, is rustling the right word? I don't know. Rustling? Sure, whatever. <laughs> but he would slowly wake up and he'd be nice about it. He'd be like, just kind of grab my toes. Eh, eh, dad, dad, dad. And so it's, I don't know. I'm going to miss it, but I'm not going to miss yeah, it. Yeah, we're, uh, we're ready to move him out of the, mm -hmm, the bedroom nest mm -hmm. into his own space. But yeah. yeah, it's definitely like a bittersweet memory for sure. Because they'll never, you know, be tugging on your toes again like that. We love the king bed. Like if nothing else, just for wrestling with the kids. What is it? It's the crawling juice. Straight up wrestled on this bed and it was awesome. <laughs> Secure it one more time here. Everything's locked down. 
going to slide it in and say goodbye. You do have a hard time. I know. I know. And you might be thinking, you guys love this so much. Why are you selling it? But like, it, we do. We love it. We made some great memories in it. But to us, I mean, home and memories and family, it's more than just... It's more than just an RV. It's about us creating experiences as a mm -hmm. family. That That's home for us. We were in the Airstream for three years, mm -hmm. and that was very emotional. Mm -hmm. That was hard. That was um, so hard. But we knew it was the best thing for our family, mm -hmm. and that's kind of where we're at every time we make a transition. Mm -hmm. Like, it's hard to let go of the old, mm -hmm. but we know it's the, the best next step for our family. And mm -hmm. so we're really excited about what's to come. But in order to have the new, we have to say goodbye, and goodbyes are hard. Say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, <laughs> Say bye, RV. Bye. Bye, RV. So the family buying this is actually already in California waiting on the unit to get there to them. So we're closing everything up, hitching up to the RV, towing it to an easier place for this company. I don't know with them to have to try to get in here and get this RV. So I'm going to get it out for them. And then they're gonna pick it up, and then our open range is gone. One day in, one day out, on top, then you're down. The highs and the lows keep swirling. Walk these streets like you're beaten. Rise up to mean the break that you need. It's coming. Just hold on. Hold It's getting real right now watching them watching them hook it up. So many firsts and so many lasts. Lift your eyes off the ground, you only be Rising up through the clouds, no, never give up. Climb on, climb it's really hard to say goodbye, but uh, it's just been the story of our RV life. It's just how much we can be rewarded by letting go because letting go of our house was so emotional and so hard. But I think back on all the memories letting go of that house has brought us. And so I know this is just a new journey, a new adventure in our RV journeys. I'm so excited to say hello to our new adventure coming soon, hopefully. Nothing for us before we hit the road full time and started doing this. I think we thought it was about going places and doing things. And it was, mm -hmm. and it is. For If you're dreaming of doing this, um, it is a lot about the places you go. But I think if you go in the wind, is like that you smoothly go from destination to destination and see the Grand Canyon and see Niagara Falls and see whatever it is is on your list. Mm -hmm. If that's the goal or the win is for those to all go smoothly and all that just to be checked off on the boxes, I think you'll be possibly severely disappointed with RVing pretty quick because it does not go smoothly like that. But if the win is to create memories to, for us, you know, even though our home literally just went rolling down the road, yeah. not our home anymore. I need to say our home. It is not our home anymore. <laughs> what was our home went rolling down the road, even though that's gone, like our win is for us to be close as a family. And, mm -hmm. and that's, that's home. That's, that's the goal for us, no matter where we're sleeping or where we're at. The main reason we even started the RV lifestyle was about family time. Mm -hmm. We originally just wanted to spend more time as a family and started researching downsizing. Mm -hmm. And then downsizing is how we even discovered the RV lifestyle. We definitely get all the family time that we want. We get to do mm -hmm. our marriage as a team. We parent as a team all day, every day, which mm -hmm. for some of you may be like, ah, I don't know about that. <laughs> and there are definitely challenges with that. I don't want to make this sound perfect, Yeah. but I want you to know that we, we have grown closer through that process and it's been an incredible journey for our family that we don't regret. So it's been a long, exhausting couple of days, uh, but we did get the open range cleaned up. We did get our stuff moved out of the open range. We did find somewhere for our stuff to go. We still don't know when our next RV is going to be ready. We need somewhere to live. <laughs> our friends, Brent and Vanessa have said that we could come and stay with them. We're hoping it's just a few days. We gave them the heads up. It could be a few weeks. We just don't know. So we're heading over there to stay at their house and we'll just see where our journey takes us next. Hi, you're here. <laughs> Honey, we're home. 
Home on wheels. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 